Good morning, everyone. It's Chris from Two Brain Business. I love teaching affiliate owners how to DIY stuff. Uh, there are some great services out there that will help you capture and warm up cold leads that you're getting from your social media, but there's also an easy way to do this yourself. Most of us have tools like WordPress. Everybody has tools like MailChimp available, which is a great free service. And so what we're going to do here first is create a very simple landing page, build a, an email list in MailChimp, and then trigger an automation of an email sequence that will warm these leads up before they come in your door. A cold lead jumping straight from Facebook to your service is very unlikely to buy. And if they do buy, their retention rate is much lower because we haven't established like the context of your service or why they're coming or how you're going to solve their problem. We can do that by keeping them in your funnel a little bit longer, warming them up through email and conversion uh, usually happens on our email list, a catalyst. So the first thing we're going to do is look at our WordPress dashboard. It should look something like this and we're going to create a new page. If you don't know how to do that, just click on add new page. I call this a sample interest page. If you were trying to attract brides, for example, you might call this brides and you might partner with a local bridal shop and say, hey, we're going to give away a free six week get fit before your wedding guide. And we're going to uh, create a landing page, you know, called brides. We're going to insert a form on this page to build a list of women who are about to get married so that we can start marketing to them and bring them into our gyms for personal training or a private group or CrossFit. So we've started this page. Then we're going to go to MailChimp and we're going to start building our list there. So I'm going to hit create a new list. Now a few days ago I built this new CrossFit interest list just so that I could get some names that we could work with here. And from there we're going to build a landing form. A landing form is how we capture the information of people who are interested. They're paying attention but they're not paying us money yet. So if I didn't have this list, I would create a new list. But instead what I'm going to do is click on this list and I'm going to build myself a form. In this case, I'm going to choose an embedded form so that it just sticks right in that page. I could also choose a pop-up. MailChimp makes it really easy to do that. But what we want to do again is capture names and email addresses so that we can send these people emails, keep warming them up toward our service, show them how it's relevant to them. We could also take this list through MailChimp and point ads on Facebook, on Instagram, on Google AdWords, right at the people on this list. It's pretty nifty. So what I've done here is I've just changed the title from subscribe to our list to get free stuff from Catalyst. If I was gonna take a little bit more time, I'd also change the subscribe button and you could do that in the HTML code, but I won't get into that. Then if I scroll down, I can command C copy, and go back to my website. Just click on my little text box here. You might have to do something else to insert HTML code. And now what I've got is this neat little list or this neat little form, okay? If I publish that, you'll actually see it on my website and I'll show you that in a moment. What happens when somebody joins your list now is you wanna automatically start sending them emails. Uh, different software packages have different emails. I strongly recommend that you write your own so that it's in your voice. If you can't do that, if you can't write, if you don't have time, then absolutely use something else that somebody else has written. There are good writers out there, but you really wanna be writing your own automated emails. And we actually give people templates for all of these. We give them our exact script for over 50 emails uh, in our Two Brain Growth Stage. So now that we've got this page up that's going to capture email addresses, we wanna start the email automation sequence. So we're going back to MailChimp, and I'm going to go to Create Campaign, and I'm going to choose an email campaign, and then I'm going to choose Automation. And then I chose the welcome to Catalyst automation. It really doesn't matter which option for automation you choose um, because you're going to be tailoring this so much anyway, it doesn't matter. I just wanna show you the key parts. The first part is that you're gonna edit the trigger. So right now this is set to send the first email one day after people join my list. Well, I wanna send them an email within like 20 minutes. So I'm gonna change this to immediately, okay? And I'm also gonna trigger this when subscribers are imported. The reason I'm doing this is, let's say that you go to a wedding store and you say, okay, look, let's partner on this. And they say, that's a fantastic idea. We'd love to help. Uh, here's our email list. Well, we wanna just cut and paste that email list right onto our new list and uh, send them the automated sequence too. 
So I'm updating my trigger now. Then I'm going to compose my first email, okay? So I would design my email here. Now, later on in this post, I've given you instructions on what to put in this email. If you're targeting one specific group, like brides, you might wanna tailor that email a little bit more. What's your biggest fear about your wedding night? Is it losing your virginity? Is it um, spilling wine on your dress? Or is it that your new husband, you know, thinks you could be a little bit thinner? Something like that. Um, a, a lot of people have these fears. Obviously, they shouldn't have these fears, but we want to help them overcome that. And that, that's why we're in this business. So we would design this email. And I give you some tips here to make sure that this email gets opened. The name of your email is going to be personalized. Your email subject line, uh, you should include their name if you can. And there are ways to just embed that. Uh, with merge codes, okay? And then your from email address. Now, we are going to choose, and this is the new best practice in email, is just simple text. The reason is with all the new spam laws, it's very, very simple for your email to get filtered out, uh, especially if it's going to like a, a corporate email um, server. Uh, if it has pictures, if it has obvious spammy texts, especially in the first paragraph, that spam blocker is just gonna say, forget it. So what we're going to do here is we might put like one good title here and we might put some some text, but we're not going to put a header on it. We're not going to put your logo. We're not going to put pictures. And then when we hit save and continue, now we've got the first email that's going to go out. We want to add a second email right here. Okay, we'll edit the trigger. We'll make it one day later. And in this blog post, I've shared with you exactly what should be in that email, when the next one should go out, what should happen after this sequence is done. This is how easy it actually is. If you wanna sign up for a software service that does all this for you, that has preloaded good emails, that has flags for your clients, that's awesome. But don't let the price of that software stop you from just doing this yourself. This will take you 80% of the way there. It's something that you can set up within probably an hour, two hours at the most, and uh, you can do it for virtually free. Enjoy.